Hey guys, let's fly the hip. So this is a tutorial series I've created for the Mi 8 helicopter. It's uh, aiming to be just a little bit different from some of the other offerings that are on YouTube today. I'm hoping to go a little more in depth, uh, spend a little more time talking about concepts, and giving you a, a broader understanding of not just how to operate the different systems available to the helicopter, but also why you're using them, how they work, why they're important, and some of the concepts behind helicopter flight in general. My hope is that this will help make you a more confident pilot and have a better understanding of what your helicopter is trying to tell you, why it's behaving the way it is. So if you're anything like me, the first thing you do when you buy a new module is you download an open Chuck's Guide and you start reading. But every so often Chuck's Guide is either missing something and hasn't been updated or something just isn't quite clear to you or it's just not clicking with you for some reason. Some of us also just learn better by watching someone else do the thing. So the next thing you do is you open YouTube and you Google some tutorials and you watch somebody do the thing. So if you do that for the hip, what you're going to find is a lot of videos that are from 2014, 2015, because this is a fairly old module. And while they might still be accurate, they are a little bit dated and some things have changed some things have been added. Uh, the sim is very different from what it used to be. And in some cases they were using features like YouTube's uh, annotations which no longer work and now some of these videos are effectively useless because they don't teach you anything. You'll also find a couple of complete tutorial series for the hip which I find in my opinion to be a little bit brief. So they go over everything this helicopter has to offer in a matter of about five or six episodes about 10 minutes long each which to me just isn't quite long enough and I came out of these series thinking why? Why did I have to do this thing in this order? Why did the helicopter behave the way it did? It never really goes into depth with those. Now, if you're just looking for a quick reference, which switches do I flip? Which order do I flip them in? How do I do this and that? Those are perfect. That's exactly what you're looking for. But if you're like me and you were left with a bunch of questions, then maybe my tutorial series will be more your speed. So for example, uh, in the video where we talk about takeoffs, I'm not just gonna show you the three different ways to take off in the helicopter. I'm also gonna talk about when you might use them how hard they are in the helicopter, the advantages and disadvantages of them. And then we're gonna look at concepts that make taking off possible and that uh, determine why you control the helicopter the way you do, why it behaves the way it does. So we're gonna talk about things like translating tendency um, and transverse flow, effective translational lift, gyroscopic precession, phase lag, all these different terms that we're gonna get into in later videos, but they're not strictly required for you to fly the helicopter. But if you understand them, you'll have a better grasp on what the helicopter is doing and why and what it's trying to tell you. And hopefully, as I mentioned, it should make you a more confident pilot. So most of the information that's gonna be in these videos is coming from two places. One of those is Chuck's Guide. Chuck has done a amazing job putting together guides for every plane you can think of and every procedure that you might wanna do in them. In some cases, Chuck doesn't always go into the other things that the various systems can do, which is fine, he doesn't need to. Uh, and in that case, I have consulted the official Mi 8 manual from the DCS website, which is also full of really good information. You'll find both of those linked below in every single video. You'll also find links to a couple of the mods I'm using, one of them being the Black English Cockpit by DevRim. I like it, personal preference, you do not need to use it. There is an English cockpit included with the module by default. You can find it from the main menu, settings, special, Mi 8, MTV2. And you can change your cockpit to English there. You should have no problems following along regardless of which one you're using. The only differences will be a few of the labels will have slightly different naming. For example, the radio panel in the official cockpit uses the name of the model of the radio, so R828, R863, etc. Whereas in the black English version, it's labeled by the band that the radio operates on, so VHF, UHF, etc. cetera. Uh, beyond that, uh, I wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer about who I am and my background. I am not a pilot. I have no official training. I've never flown a helicopter or a plane in real life. So do not take this as a source of authority. I've done my best to make sure that I've vetted the information that's in these videos, that I've confirmed that it's accurate, that I'm not telling you lies or giving you negative training, but I'm human, I make mistakes. So if you happen to be one of those people who has the knowledge I don't, if you're a real world pilot, if you have this kind of training and you catch something that I've missed or I've gotten wrong or you know a better way to do it, I would ask that you please help out, leave a comment below. If you're not one of those people and you are learning from these videos, 
then I would recommend that if something seems odd, sounds funny, doesn't quite add up to you, please go verify it for yourself. Please double check what I'm saying and hold me to it. In either case, if you find something I've missed, got something wrong, whatever, leave a comment, let me know, and I can pin that comment. And if it's bad enough, I can even re-record the video. I really want to make sure that I'm not giving people false information, bad information, negative training, or lies. That's kind of the goal with all of this. Finally, uh, I wanted to just talk a little bit about the helicopter itself. It is the Neil Mi-8 MTV-2. It's uh, pronounced that way because the design bureau, the company that built this helicopter, is Miel, M-I-L, and Eastern Aircraft are all named after the design bureau, not after the function, like F-14 for Fighter 14 or AV-8B for Attack Variable 8B. They're named after the design bureau, so uh, Su-25 or Su-27 or MiG-29 and so on. So that's the name. The designation, uh, Mi-8 MTV-2. So that really is explained by a couple of things. If you look here, you can see the tail rotor is on the left side of the tail of our helicopter. There are two versions of the Mi-8. There's the Mi-8 that was built in Russia and used by Russia. That's the original Mi-8. And then there's the Mi-8M, which is the export version. And that was given to other countries to operate in their own air forces. The Mi-8M has the tail rotor on the left, like ours. The Mi-8 that was used in Russia has the tail rotor on the right. So what we have is the export version, the Mi-8M. This was also called the Mi-17. You can um, look up either one of those and you'll find it. The Mi-17 or Mi-8M is the one we have in the game, but it's called the Mi-8M because it's being used by Russia. As far as I know, they still, within Russia, they still refer to it as the Mi-8M, whereas the countries operating it refer to it as the Mi-17. Same thing, but that's that. The TV-2 part after that, so Mi-8M TV-2, T is the hot and high variant, which had some upgrades allowing it to operate at a higher ceiling with more weight, with more passengers, and in hotter weather. And V2 just refers to the second variant of the hot and high version of the helicopter. So there's where you get the name from, Miel Mi-8 MTV-2. So like I said, this is uh, going to be about 25 or 30 videos long. The first half of those or more are just on airmanship. So things like taxiing, takeoff, hovering, landing, um, and then coordinated flight and turns, and then things like out of envelope stuff, Vortex Ring State, VRS, or Retreating Blade Stall, RBS. Uh, and once we finally get through all of those, then we'll go into radio communications, radio navigation, Doppler navigation, countermeasures, flares, and then finally all the different weapons. You've got a couple of different kinds of gun pods, you have a grenade launcher, you've got rockets, and you've got some different sized bombs. The helicopter also has a mine laying system, but to my knowledge, that has never been uh, modeled within DCS. So some of these videos are going to be pretty long. In fact, the average runtime is about 20 minutes, with the longest one being over 30. But I hope you guys will find some value in and appreciate the extra level of detail and depth that I've decided to go into for these things. I hope that it will help you be more confident pilots and enjoy the module. So I think that covers it. That's everything I wanted to say for the intro. Enjoy the series, and I will see you guys next time.